But for those that don't know who Gypsy Joe is, he's an old little guy, about 76 years old. And Gypsy Joe was probably over when gas was about 12 cents a gallon. He was a star way back in the day, way back in the day, back during the time where he probably tag team with Moses and Jesus. He was way back there, dog. And Gypsy Joe decides that he wants to do a match against me, yours truly. So I go to Tennessee to meet this guy to do these promos at this TV studio. And I walk in, it's this big old white boy sitting there all muscled up. Then there's this little bitty white dude sitting there. So I walk up to the big guy. I'm like, what's up, man? I'm Jack. He said, I'm what you call? I said, well, you're not Joe. He said, no, that's Joe right there. <sighs> so I looked at him. I'm like, okay, they playing with me. But he said, no, I'm Joe. It's okay. So I go to the promoter. I said, so what you want me to do with this guy? He said, have a match with him. He's hard as nails. He's tough as leather. I said, bro, I can't do but one or two things with him. I said, I can either beat him to death or do I go out there and do a comedy match and lose dollar value in my name. He said, he can take anything you dish out. He, he's tough as nails. I said, okay. So I go to the show, and it's just country hicks, rednecks, no teeth, stinking, no shoes. I mean, it was disgusting. And... <laughs> I'm usually accepted as the good guy. But in Tennessee, if I came in there with some angel wings and a halo, I'm not going to be the good guy. They won't let me. So when I walked out, I knew I was in for something. When, you know, sometimes I take my bandana off and throw it in the audience. Well, I threw it in the audience and they threw it back. They didn't want it. Ain't want no part of me. So now New Jack gets in the ring. Gypsy Joe comes out wearing his pink tights and little panty things and his nice little pretty coat and his hair that's blotted and splotched. And he got little, he won't even die no more. It's just gray and then his bald head spotting it, you know. And we start the match. And Gypsy Joe will not sell nothing that I gave him. In other words, if I punched him, he had like I didn't punch him. So then he headbutted me in my nose. I got enough nose as it is, and he just smashed it. So then I went on the attack, and I beat him, and I beat him, and I beat him, and I stomped him. And I wrapped ball right around his head, snatched it off, and big old part, piece of hair in it. And I took a baseball bat and pinned him across the top of his head and beat him. And then everybody in the audience was calling me the N-word, and I was putting that whooping on Joe like it wasn't going to be no tomorrow. The motor came out and stopped the match. He said, I'm stopping the match due to unnecessary roughness. <laughs> And the match ended. I went downstairs and got my bag and got a trunk of somebody's car and we left. Cause they called the cops. Needless to say, Gypsy Joe did not respond to any interviews when people want to talk to him about the match that me and him had because off the record he told somebody that was the worst beating he ever took in his life that I was gonna kill him. And actually if I could have got away gotten away with it, I would have. Because it comes a time and point in this business where you get too old to do this. You're too young to do it, then you're too old to do it. And his day done came and went a long time ago. And me having the reputation I have in this business, you might not like me, but you will respect me. And if not, you'll be laying up beside him in the hospital and I'll beat the fool out of you.